going to be a future self meditation. Okay. So this is going to be you visualizing your future because your life, your future is determined by you. Okay. It's not determined by your past. It's not determined by your circumstances. It's created in your mind first. And that is so incredibly empowering, right? Because that gives the control back in your hands. That gives the control back to you. And that's what I'm here to give you this powerful visualization that is going to carry you uh, forever. And this video is going to be here for you to come back to at any time. So you can do this again and again. I practice vis visualizing every single day. Um, I've made it a, a practice of mine. I didn't like it in the beginning. And if you feel kind of lost in your thoughts, that's totally okay. Remember your brain, your visualizing brain is a muscle, just like you would work out your biceps, your abs, your booty, your brain, and the, the, the way that it can visualize is, um, is a muscle. So the more you practice it, the better you will get at it, the more easy it becomes for you. And so this is my gift to you to start off the new year. And remember, you can come back to this at any time and do this to reconnect uh, to your goals because your brain, remember, doesn't know the difference between imagination and what's actually happening outside of your brain. So when you close your eyes and you begin to visualize these images in your head, your body is going to actually feel as though it's real. So we are going to activate your high self. We're going to activate these, these emotions and these feelings and these pictures of yourself that is truly your highest potential. Okay. So it's really, really exciting. Let me go ahead and check the chat. Make sure that you guys can all hear me. Um, my little setup, it looks, it looks pretty, it looks pretty, doesn't it? <laughs> um, that's a new blanket my sister got me for Christmas. It's really cozy soft. And I've got my essential oils going. I would recommend making your space really comfy cozy right now for you. You can get some pen and paper as well. Get some water or tea or coffee. Uh, put on a candle or I love essential oils. I actually have my essential oil blend is called Highest Potential. Um, and it's it just smells amazing, right? You want to awaken all of the senses right now. Get someplace really cozy. I have my meditation pillow too, <clears throat> which I love using. I'm not using right now because um, sometimes I like being on the floor too, but I always use my Brentwood Home um, meditation pillows, which are nice too. So let's see. Hello from Bulgaria. Hi from Spain. Okay. So now let's get into um, this, this, uh, our visualization today. So pick one word that you would like to describe the next 12 months of your life. Okay. So I, I am so excited to share with you that my word for this year is limitless. And, um, uh, we just love this. My boyfriend and I decided to do this word and we just love this word because the only limit that you have in your life is the limit that you place in your own mind. And when you think about that, when you truly think about it, it's so incredibly powerful because it puts, it puts all the power back into your hands because you get to create and break outside of that box. So if you're ready to break outside of that box, type the word in the chat. What is it that you want to, what word would you want to create this or to describe this year ahead of you? And it can be a feeling. It can be an intention. It can be something that when you look back 12 months from now at your future self and you're looking back in the, and you're like, wow, it was limitless. There were so many possibilities for me. What is that word for you? Let's go ahead and share in the chat. Let's get the positive vibes going. Type your word in the chat. Let's see it. Let's see it. Look at everybody from all over the world. I love it. I love it. From Del Mar. Oh, I love Del Mar. Hillsboro, North Carolina, Romania, Italy, Sweden, Hungary, Bulgaria, Spain, Canada, Slovenia. So cool. Canadian, Quebec, Canada. Happy New Year. Hello from Spain. Okay, let's see your word. I don't see anybody's words yet. I'm going to wait until I see your word. Pick a word that you would like to describe the 12 months ahead of you. Let's see it. Um, let's type it in the chat. I'm waiting. I'm patiently waiting. Don't overthink it. Don't overthink it. That's, it's a trap. Just pick the first word that comes to your mind. First word that comes to your mind. And usually the first one that comes to your mind is the most truthful for you. And maybe 
maybe you get scared, right? Maybe you think of something and then it's like, oh, you know, that's too much. It's never too much. You are worthy of all of that. Okay, let's see. Uh, happiness. And I'm toying with a companion word, open. Create, health, flexibility. Um, the other day I said kind, but maybe today I'm thinking movement. I love it. Joy, tensed, balance and inner peace, love. Lucky, courage, hopeful, confidence, beautiful, guys. These are such beautiful words, and um, and these words are yours to create and to um, and to make happen for yourself. Okay, let me see where did I go. Okay, so so I want you to think right now before we get into the meditation into the visualization. So just think of that word that you just had, right? So it was love, happiness, whatever it is. And then I want you to think of, of your top five goals that you want to achieve this year. Top five goals. Maybe you need to write them down. It's okay if you need to write them down. Um, and then out of those, oh, look at all the more words, hopeful, happiness, focus, clear. I love it. After, now out of those five goals, I want you to pick one. And there's usually one that energetically is a little stronger. It has that vibration of, oof, maybe it's a little scary. Maybe it's a little exciting. Remember, fear and excitement are actually the same. They light up the same part of our brain. So if it feels a little scary, that's probably the one to go with. So I want you to just pick one. Pick one of those goals and have that clear in your mind right now. And the reason why that this, this visualization is going to give you clarity is because sometimes we don't allow ourselves to actually dream. And I remember there was a time in my life where I just stopped dreaming. And I was very pessimistic. I was very sarcastic. I was very negative. And I didn't allow myself to dream. And so I really encourage you to allow yourself to just be playful. Okay, this doesn't mean anything. You're just imagining, okay? Don't don't let your logic get too much into it. I mean, I'm definitely guilty of my logic and be like, well, how would I do that? Well, that's not possible. Well, what about last year? Well, remember when this, right? The brain will go crazy. So just allow yourself to be free and playful like a little kid, right? I watch my nieces and they're so playful and imaginative and creative. So allow yourself to be that inner child right now, that your five-year-old, six-year-old self that would just dream and imagine and you wouldn't stop yourself, right? So that's that's my goal for you in this meditation. So pick that one goal and are you guys ready to get started? Okay, so pick that one goal. Have that clear in your mind. Can you hear the music at all? You can just type in the chat. I'm not sure if you can hear. I have some nice little sounds going on here, but I'm not sure if you can hear it. Okay. Um, Katerina says, Jacqueline, thank you for inspiring me and giving me inner strength. Love from Greece. Oh, amazing. You don't hear the music at all. No music. Okay. You know what? These lives are always a learning curve <laughs> for me. <laughs> no music. Can you hear that now? Maybe I'll bring it up here. No. No music. Still? Okay. Well, no. Okay. Well, oh yeah, now you can hear it. Now there's music. Woo! Yeah. Okay. 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 Love it. Is it too loud? Is it too loud? Let me know how the sound is if it's too loud. Okay. Perfect. All right. Love it. All right. So go ahead and get yourself into a comfortable seated position. Comfy, cozy here. And um, if you're uncomfortable sitting like how I am, just you can, again, go on a pillow, go on a chair. You can even go on your couch, whatever is comfortable for you. And just begin to um, just feel comfortable. And now right now, keep your eyes open. And what you're going to do is you're going to look ahead of you and there's probably a wall somewhere near you where the wall and the ceiling come together right there's that point there that come together and keep your eyes fixed up on that spot there so it's just that crevice between the wall and the ceiling so keep your eyes right there so it should be a little bit above your eye level keep your eyes right there keep focusing there and allow your breath to just deepen 
Begin to move the breath in and out through the nose. Keep your eyes fixated on that spot and allow yourself to feel totally relaxed. And the longer you hold your gaze here, you might begin to notice that a series of physiological changes begin to change and happen inside of your body. You might begin to feel that the body gets heavier and heavier into the earth. You might begin to feel that the your body just feels tingly, maybe in your feet and your toes and your hands and your fingers. You might even begin to feel that the eyelids start to get heavy. Keeping that gaze up there is a little tiring. And if your eyelids start to feel heavy, just go ahead and close the eyes. Let the eyelids fall all the way down. And even if you don't feel the eyelids are super heavy, just go ahead and close the eyes all the way right here, right now. Allow yourself to get deeper and deeper with each and every breath. And you're noticing that every time you take a deep breath, you might feel yourself going deeper within yourself, getting deeper and deeper, relaxing with each and every breath. And then in your mind's eye, I want you to imagine a relaxing place. This is your special relaxing place. Keeping your eyes closed for the duration of the meditation, imagine a relaxing place. It can be anywhere in the world, or it can be right here in your bedroom or your house. What is your most relaxing place? Begin to feel it, touch it, sense it. Are you outside? Do you feel wind on your skin? Do you feel the sunshine? Or do you see snow? Can you touch the snow? What is it for you? And begin to imagine yourself. Place yourself right there, standing in your most relaxing, beautiful, peaceful, serene place. Just enjoying it, taking a big deep breath in and feeling yourself in the atmosphere of this relaxing place. And maybe you don't see anything in your mind, but you just feel that peace inside of you. And then you look around to your left and to your right, and all of a sudden you see a door. And it doesn't have to make sense, it doesn't have to be logical, but there's a door there that's shut. It doesn't even have to be attached to a building, it could be floating, it's whatever you want to create. And you walk over to that door and you open the door and you see an immediate set of stairs. You see these set of stairs that I'm going to count you down from 10 down to 0 and you see these stairs here for you and they go down to a deep place. And you've been here before, so it feels comfortable, it feels safe, and there's actually a railing there if you choose to use the railing. And you're going to step down into the first step, the 10th step, and with each and every step you take, you feel more and more relaxed as you go deeper into your subconscious mind. And you're gonna step down to nine, feeling deeper and deeper relaxed in your body, eight, with each and every step, you're feeling more relaxed, you're feeling more calm, you're feeling loose and limp and relaxed. Seven, just allow yourself to let go. Six, and five, keep breathing deeply. Four, going deeper and deeper, down, down you go, feeling totally safe. Four, and three, all the way down to and one and zero, reaching the depth of your subconscious mind. And you walk in and you realize that you're in your own private movie theater. You see this movie theater here and there's a screen and there's a chair there waiting for you. And this is your most comfiest, coziest chair. And you walk over and you sit inside of that chair. And you're facing the movie screen and you're just loving this chair. It feels so cozy, comfy. And you look up on the screen and you realize that it's a movie playing of your life. Of the last 12 months of your life. And you see yourself 
you see yourself and I want you to pull up on that movie screen a moment, a memory where you were so incredibly determined, where you were achieving something. And I know that these last 12 months might have looked completely different, but I know that there was something during these last 12 months that you achieved something. You ch achieved something amazing. And maybe if you can't find in the last 12 months, just pick a time in your life where you were so incredibly determined that you achieved something that you didn't even think was possible. You surprised yourself with how resilient you were, how confident you were, how motivated you were. And begin to activate those feelings inside of you, those feelings of motivation, those feelings of determination, resilience, the feeling of, I'm going to do whatever it takes for me to get there and activate and picture yourself on the screen right now. Picture yourself on the screen doing all those things that it that required you to achieve that outcome. And now I want you to actually step inside of that movie screen. And now you are there at that memory and you can feel all those feelings of accomplishment, that feeling of pride, the feeling of joy for having achieved that amazing, amazing accomplishment that you just achieved knowing that all of the resources are inside of you and connecting to those feelings of pride, of accomplishment. And then all of those feelings turn into a sense of gratitude and appreciation, feeling so incredibly grateful for the work that you did, for the accomplishments, for the opportunity, for the ripple effect that this accomplishment you know now is going to create in your life. And then step back out and sit back into the chair facing the movie screen and you're watching the movie screen and now with all those feelings of accomplishments and resilience and confidence now I want you to bring into your mind's eye that one goal that you want to achieve in the next 12 months it can be anything in your career your fitness health maybe it's an experience maybe it's something you want to learn Maybe it's a monetary, a financial goal, whatever it is, bring that up in your mind right now. And it's, nothing is ever too big. Allow yourself to really connect with it, visualize it, and think to yourself, what is it, was it, it that I want in this? And now I want you to picture yourself on the movie screen now as you sit in that cozy, comfy chair. Picture yourself on the movie screen having accomplished this goal. What, what does it feel like? How do you know that you accomplished this goal? So make it specific. Was it something that someone said to you and now you know you've achieved this goal? Was it a pair of pants that you can put on now? Was it something you could purchase now? Visualize yourself going through that right now. Feel it. Feel that sense of accomplishment. Feel that sense of pride. Feel that, so, that immense amount of joy. And then on the movie screen, it's almost like it's rewinding. Now it's taking you back to all the steps that were, were required for you to achieve that goal and see yourself doing all the things that you needed to do in order to achieve that goal. See yourself actually doing all the things required, that doing all the things required to achieve that single most important goal of yours feeling so determined, feeling so resilient every step of the way, knowing that you might have failed a couple times, knowing that failure is part of the process, remembering that when you were learning to walk, you had to fall in order to get back up again, to learn how to balance your body. Falling and failing is part of the process. 
and seeing yourself go through everything, all the steps that were needed to take to get to your goal. Feeling so incredibly proud and resilient. And even hearing yourself say to yourself, I've got this. I'm doing it. I'm not stopping. Feeling that unstoppable urge and motivation to get all the way to your goal. And then now again, you have arrived at your goal. You have achieved your goal. You are there. You feel it. Now step into the screen right now and feel yourself. Feel yourself accomplished with pride. Feel how exciting it is to have actually achieved this goal, knowing that there's a ripple effect that is going to take place from having achieved this goal. Think about all the ways that it's going to affect you and your family, your friends, your life, the people around you that you're going to impact because you have achieved this goal. Feeling so incredibly proud and confident of yourself. Feeling so motivated, knowing that you are in charge of your life. You are so incredibly powerful. And take a big deep breath in and exhale and then step back out onto your chair again. Sit back into that cozy, comfy chair with all those feelings of accomplishment and pride. And then you begin to feel a sense of gratitude, a deep, deep, deep sense of gratitude and appreciation, knowing that when you realize how all the things that you have in front of you, all the resources and learnings available to you that it unlocks even more resources for you to achieve even more. And you're looking back, you're looking at the screen again in these last 12 months, sitting as your future self, looking back and seeing all the steps that were needed to take to achieve that goal. knowing that failure is part of the process, knowing that perfection really does not exist, but rather resilience. It's not about how perfect you can do it, but how many times can you get back up after failing? Resilience is falling down 10 times and getting up back 10 times again, knowing that there are always going to be obstacles and challenges that come your way. But how will you get back up again? How will you stay determined? How will you stay connected to your goal? How will you believe in yourself every step of the way, knowing that it's just, a, it's just an obstacle and you just need to get over it and move past it. And that is so possible for you. It's so incredibly possible for you. See that version of you. See that version of you being so resilient, so strong, so determined. And you're sitting there in the chair as your future self, 12 months from now, almost feeling nostalgic of the past 12 months, thinking, wow, I did it all. I did it. I did the, I did the impossible. I broke through. And just allow yourself to feel proud Allow yourself to celebrate yourself. I know that can be so difficult sometimes, but truly just give yourself a pat on the back, feeling so grateful for the opportunities, feeling grateful for the failures because those failures allowed you to grow and learn and to reach your highest self. Feeling so grateful, knowing that that gratitude and appreciating and really realizing all that you have in front of you unlocks even more resources for you to achieve your goals. And seal all of that in. And now it's time to head back up those stairs again. So you stand up from that chair and you're going to walk back up those stairs again. And so walking over to the stairs, you begin to step up those 10 steps. You can grab onto the railing again if you need to, going up one, feeling more sense of accomplishment with each and every step that you take, two, 
And three, this feelings of confidence actually feel like you're, it's bursting out of your seams. Four and five, you're stepping up. Six, feeling pride. Seven, feeling that sense of accomplishment, and determination, and motivation. Eight, nine, ten, and you open the door and you're back into your relaxing place. And you feel as though you just reached your highest self. You've seen on the movie screen what you're capable of. And this makes you feel so motivated and so accomplished and so determined. And then I want you to now connect to your body, to the body that you're in right now, to the chair that you're sitting in, to your fingers, to your toes, your breath, the breathing of your body right here, right now, knowing that the breath is inside of you, connecting to where you are in space right now, and allowing yourself to get comfortable in your space, realizing that you're in your home or in your couch, coming to the present moment here. And I'm going to count up to five. And when I reach five, you're going to awaken up and open your eyes and come back into the room. And at zero, we actually go deeper, sealing in everything that you just learned about yourself, the accomplishment, resilience, your determination, your motivation. And we're going to count up to one, Two, feeling more alert now, more awake. Three, four, beginning to open your eyes again. Five, eyes open, wide awake. Eyes open, wide awake. Five, one, two, three, four, five. Eyes open, wide awake. Back into the room, feeling connected, remembering where you are right now. Taking a big, deep breath in. Exhaling out. How was that journey? Type in the chat any reflections that you have. Type in the chat what it is that you learned about yourself. Were you able to visualize yourself as your most determined, confident, resilient self? How did it feel to feel grateful and appreciative for yourself, to be able to celebrate yourself? I know that's so difficult for so many of us. It's a really, really powerful tool to be able to visualize yourself. And remembering that all of the tools and resources are actually inside of you, always. And the more you do this, the better you'll get at it. The more that you practice these visualizations and imagining and being playful, the more expansive you will become. You'll become connected to your highest self. Because you have to ask yourself, what, what is it? why would I have these imaginations? Why would I be able to picture myself doing something different? if it wasn't possible and always being in the state of having not wanting because as you saw in your mind's eye you already have it you have it all you already have all of it you already have the outcome that you want you already know the steps that's determined that you need to take in order to get there you have it all And never be in a state of wanting, because wanting is a state of neediness, of scarcity, of fear. But you are actually in a state of having. You already have it. All you have to do is close your eyes and picture it, feel it. It's pretty powerful, isn't it? Uh, Let's see. I love feeling that joy of accomplishment again, says Andrea. Camila says, I'm feeling amazing. Thank you, Jacqueline. Lena says, calm and happy. Oh, that's so amazing. I love seeing that feedback. What was it that you, what, what was something that you learned about yourself? Sometimes we, we forget to um, congratulate ourselves. I feel calm and a spirit of freedom. Nice. Who feels motivated? Who feels motivated to go after these goals? Who feels that it is possible for you? Maybe you didn't think it was possible before, but after visualizing it now, you do realize that it's it's possible. Now I know what I have to do. 
Yes, that's amazing. And just knowing that there is, with every single goal, there is just a step, there's a process. There's a simple step-by-step process that you follow, that you just do. And loving that step-by-step process, loving every bit of it, dopamizing it, loving that, you know, you get to work out or you get to, for me, you know, I had to do this whole camera setup, loving that I get to set up my camera, getting excited about putting my, my plugs and my cameras and everything together, right? Getting my lights, just feeling that joy in every single process that you do. See, as cheesy as this may sound, it is never cheesy, never, ever cheesy. As cheesy as may sound, I did shed a tear at the end thinking about the potential that's inside of me that is only waiting to be unlocked. Amazing, Jacqueline. Thank you so much for it. Oh, I love that. There is, that's not too cheesy at all. If there was emotions that came up, that means that you, you connected with it. It felt so real for you and you realized maybe the tears were that you, you realize you've been holding yourself back, right? And in your mind, you're actually able to visualize you don't hold back and you realize, oh my gosh, I've been, I've been playing small. I, I haven't been letting myself just express myself or really dream or let myself go there, right? So sometimes that's where those tears come from. Rach Rach says, yes. Brian says, love your calming voice. Oh, good. Lena says, yes, I'm feeling relaxed. Thank you so much. Awesome, Laura Jean. Thank you so much. I really loved it. I feel like I'm capable of anything, says Kezi. That's awesome. Uh, focus on the good things and my personal potential. Um, I felt horrible in a good way. I haven't been able to feel proud over myself for a long time. Oh, wow. Wow. That is so, so cool. Let's see. Visualize walking up the stairs and returning to the start, said Joan. Um, that is so cool. So what if there, if someone would like to share your, your goal that you want to accomplish, let's go ahead and write down that goal that you would like to accomplish within the next 12 months. What is it? Make it very specific. Make it so specific for yourself. Write it in the chat. Write it in the chat visualize walking up the stairs. That is so cool. And if there's anything else that you want to share from the meditation, what was it that really, um, anything that really spoke to you? What was something that was, wow, that was amazing. Um, for me, when I do these things, it's just, I, I allow myself to dream. I, I realize I sometimes become so logical in my mind and I, and I want to think of all the, of the how and the why, or not the why, but the, the how, the steps. And I'll get stuck in that. And um, this really allows me to just dream and be and know that there are an, there's an infinite amount of directions that your life can go, infinite amount of possibilities. And there's a version of you that's, that can stay here. And then there's also a version of you that is in a parallel universe that can far exceed what you're ever, you ever thought possible. And that's why my word is limitless because this other version of me in the alternate universe is completely limitless. And so I just allow myself to visualize this limitless person and, and it doesn't have to make sense, right? And I just dream and I visualize and I imagine. Um, I had to leave and think you made me sleep. It was so relaxing. My goal is to get health in my body and mind. Mm. That's okay if you fall asleep. <laughs> Continue becoming a better teacher, wife, piano player, and yoga enthusiast. Awesome. So in the chat right now, I want you to write that one special goal that we that you visualized about, but make it specific. Very, very specific. Right? So um, so how will you know, Rachel, when you say piano player, um, that you became a good piano player? What what was it? Was it that you learned one song? Was it that you gave a performance? Was it that, what, what was it? Make it really, really specific. Um, you want to become a better teacher. How will you know you became a better teacher? You need to be able to quantify it. Um, I never felt like the best accountant, like, um, I'm not sure what that means. Embrace my imperfections and give myself grace. Okay. So how will you know, Andrea, that you have embraced your imperfections and given yourself grace? So give your goal something really specific. I saw myself skipping up the stairs, not winded, full of strength and flexibility. Oh, cool. I love that. So that's a very tangible goal, right? So Robin, you saw yourself actually doing the thing that got you there or that you know that you're there, right? So you knew you were fit and healthy because you were able to go up a, a set of stairs. So if your goal is to be fit, 
What is it that you actually are able to do now? Are you able to do 10 burpees now? Are you able to run a mile now? Are you able to do a chaturanga now, not on your knees, but on your, on your toes? Are you able to hold a plank for one minute? You got to make it really specific and tangible. I saw myself skipping up the stairs, not winded, full of strength. I just read that. <laughs> um, awesome. So Wow, that was really, really, really fun. We've been on for quite a while now. Sometimes I get carried away. I just love being able to talk about all this stuff. And so remember that there are more meditations inside of my Stretchy Fit app, and we are starting our new 30-day calendar. Remember that every month inside of the Stretchy Fit app, you do get a 30-day workout plan with new workouts. You get guided through a new workout at least 30 minutes every single day. And so if you are looking to just up level your fitness, if you're looking to get into a daily habit of exercise, right? That's a very specific, tangible goal, a daily habit of exercise, right? It Then the Stretchy Fit app is for you. If you do not have it already, I highly recommend that you download your Stretchy Fit app and you actually get the first seven days completely free. You can just go to actionjacqueline.com slash app. And I would love to be your guide in your workouts. It would be such a pleasure. Um, let's see the comments here. Thanks a lot for this relaxed moment and make me feel more more connected with my wishes and myself. Oh, that's so awesome to be as flexible as you and do your workout. Okay, cool. I love that. Yes, yes, yes. So when you say as flexible as you, what is it that you want to actually do? Is it the splits? Is it that you want to be in a forward fold, right? Pick something very specific. Keep, keep, keep drilling down to making it so incredibly specific for yourself. Okay, guys, um, 20 minutes of yoga or treadmill a day. Okay, perfect. There we go. You got to make it really, really specific. And if it's weight loss, right, you got to, you say, um, I want to fit into these pair of pants again, or I want to be able to go up a set of stairs without huffing and puffing, or um, I want to feel like I'm not getting the 3 p.m. slump, <laughs> right? And so if your goal is to lose weight, to deep low, and to actually change your habits, um, your eating habits and heal your relationship with food, then I recommend that you check out my program, Heal My Gut. You can actually just go to healmygut.com and it is my six week group coaching program where I actually will work closely with you through Zoom um, to help you lose weight, um, solve your gut issues because I dealt with 20 years of gut issues and now I don't have any of that because of this program. And we're going to do a lot of meditations like this, that it's going to activate your subconscious mind and rewire your brain so that you are achieving your goals more than you ever thought possible. So go check that out, healmygut.com for more information there. Um, let's see, my over splits. Awesome. I really enjoyed it, said Camila. Front splits. So cool. So cool. I love seeing all of your goals. It is so inspiring to also hear about other people's goals, right? Um, one of my biggest goals this year is to continue to grow my app, right? I want to, I want to three X the number of members I have inside of my app. And that is a big lofty goal. But what I do is then I take the steps backwards and I say, okay, well, what are the things that I needed to do in order to achieve that? Who did I need to be? Who is the type of person that would grow, right? So my sense of identity also gets to shift, right? Because I can't just be the same person. I get to be that person who is taking risk, who is willing to fail. That's a big one. I have to be willing to fail. And so I actually took myself through this visualization of seeing myself on the screen, feeling what it feels like to have three X the members of my community of my stretchy fit app. What did I need to do in order to make that happen? Where did I go? What, what, what happened through the journey? How determined I was, how, how, how resilient I felt, how I got up every single time I failed and I didn't give up on my goal and I knew it was still possible because I was in a constant state of having instead of wanting. I already had it. I already had it. I can feel it right now. I can feel the, the members coming towards me now. And so I do these visualizations to really make it so real for myself, so tangible that it's already happening and I'm having it now. And it's so incredibly powerful. I can go on and on about this, but I just love it. 
Um, okay, guys. Well, that is all for today. I hope you loved this future self meditation. Make sure that you subscribe to my YouTube channel if you have not yet. And then comment in the, in the comments, not in just the chat, but comments in the comments below what you got out of this meditation because that'll help other people when they come to see this meditation, they're going to want to see what you, what you got out of it. And that's really helpful to be able to spread this positivity and this type of valuable information to other people. So go ahead and comment in the comments below what you learned, what your biggest takeaway was, and then make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. Okay, guys. Well, I'm so incredibly grateful to be your guide. I'm so excited for the 12 months ahead of us because there is limitless possibilities, right? And I'm so grateful for each and every one of you. All right. I will see you in the next video. Bye.